Hello and welcome to this month's edition of The Big Question. We're going to need some time to answer this month's question, so let's jump right in. Though this was a popular question this month, I have to say that this has also been one of our most popular questions always. And this month's big question is, what's my number? As in how much money do I need to have saved in order to retire comfortably? Before fully diving into the answer, I'm going to take a quick pause to highlight the most important aspect of the question. The part that I want to bold highlight and underline is it is your number, not your neighbors, not your parents, not the incredible stock picker who sits next to you at work, the same one who also conveniently forgets to mention all the stock and crypto holdings that have gone to zero. It's your number based upon your wants, your needs, and your desires. That means it's going to be a little different for everyone. And to give you a better sense about how we think about what your number may look like, it's best to step back and begin with the end in mind. How much money would you want to spend each year in retirement? While this sounds obvious, it's crucially important because from there, we can begin to work backwards to construct the portfolio. If we can get to a spot where we have over three years of retirement spending safely set aside in the more conservative side of the portfolio, we should be in a really great spot to weather any of the market ups and downs that we will inevitably see along the way. And if we can get to five, six, seven, eight years, even better. But we know that if we can get to three or more years, then we should be in a really great spot. And one of the best and most important parts about this is that it then allows us to invest the other side of the portfolio in stocks, the asset class that we know historically has done the best job of outpacing inflation in a meaningful way. And as important as it is to ensure that a few years of retirement spending is safely set aside, it's equally important that you have significant dollars in the stock side of your portfolio. This is what allows us to combat what is, in our opinion, one of the biggest risks to your long-term plan, longevity risk, or the risk that inflation will eat into your purchasing power over what is hopefully a 30 plus year retirement. Now, again, all of this and how it comes together is a little different for everyone. Some of you have pensions, some of you don't. Some of you are receiving social security, some of you aren't. All of you have wants, needs, and desires that are totally unique to you. So to best determine what this looks like for you, it's important to work with your team of trusted advisors, like us, to figure out exactly what that breakdown should look like. Thanks again for joining me for another installment of The Big Question. Until next time, keep asking great questions. Thanks, everyone.